Hi, I am Dr. Surinder. I am the director of Cosmosis India. We are an aesthetic surgery, plastic surgery clinic in the heart of Bangalore on Brigade Road. When dealing with major trauma or major uh, deformities or post uh, which could be either congenital or it could be because of uh, trauma or burns, what happens is you need to reconstruct the part or that area which is missing or which is scarred. When we are doing reconstruction, the first and foremost, uh, the whole basis of reconstruction is you have to replace like tissue by like. With what it means is that you have to replace the tissues with similar looking tissues, if not the exact same tissue. When you're looking at similar tissues, you can see that even when you look in your own body, you can see the face, uh, skin and the tissues are not as the same as the arm. The arm is not same as the leg, the leg is not same as the back. Okay, so every tissue or every area of the body has a different uh, kind of, uh, there are certain differences which are innate to that area. And if you want to reconstruct something in the face, you would prefer tissues which are around it instead of taking tissues from the leg or the, or the thigh, which would be a totally different match. So what happens is when you're looking for tissues in the vicinity, then there is always a shortage. So how do you overcome the shortage? The shortage is one is either you bring in tissue from somewhere else, like I said, from the thighs or the legs. But as you said, there is not a proper match of tissue color, the color, texture, hair growth and uh, other uh, is, is tr structures within the whole flap. So what you do is you try and recruit tissues from surrounding areas. Like for the face, you can use tissues from the neck. On the neck, you can use tissues from the shoulder or the chest. So what happens is because they are in the closer vicinity, so you tend to have a better color and a texture match. Now what happens is for that you have to, because you have limited skin, you need to expand the skin or you need to make more skin. So that is where we use something called a tissue expander. A tissue expander is basically a balloon which is put underneath your skin and then we slowly inject saline or water into it to slowly blow up the balloon. So as the balloon increases in size, it stretches the skin and forms new skin. It is basically the same thing which happens during pregnancy. The tummy is expanding because the baby is growing inside and as the baby grows, the tummy expands and that is how the skin is also excess. So once the baby comes, then the skin goes back. So that is the elastic property of the skin and also you are making new skin because of the stress of the stretch. So that is how the tissue expanders work. So if we have to reconstruct something on the face or the cheek, we can use the skin in the neck, we put a tissue expander here or if we have to put uh, on the scalp which is basically hair bearing area. You have a burn and this whole hair bearing area is gone. You cannot bring in hair bearing area from anywhere else. So what you do, the remaining scalp, you can put a tissue expander, expand it so that the skin stretches and then we move the skin into the defect. So the, what is happening is you're bringing more normal tissue which is innate to that area. So this whole process takes us basically a stage procedure. The first stage is where you put in the tissue expander, you close it. After four or five days, you start filling the water. Every second day you keep filling the water so the balloon slowly expands. As it expands, your skin is expanding. And at the end of about usually a month or so, you might have achieved the amount of expansion that you require. Then during the second stage, you take out the balloon, you pull that excess skin and pull it across. So that is how a tissue expander, the basic principle of tissue expansion works.